if you want to know how to combo up like this with these simple dribble moves that are very effective in this game, you feel me? As you've seen in this clip right here and in this next one, you feel me? If you want to know how to do moves like this while still having fun on NBA 2K, guess what? Stay tuned for the rest of this video. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go to press that like button for your boy. Press the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And also, turn on the post notification bells too, you feel me? Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I will be showing y'all the beginner dribble tutorial with the hand cam. I know it's still people out here on 2K23 that still can't combo up, still can't dribble. But guess what? It came to the right video, you feel me? Now, look, the first thing you're going to want to do is put on these six. These are the six I was using in these clips and I'm using right now. Now, as you can see, we're going to get right into it. The first move I'll be showing y'all how to do is the momentum crossover. Now, as you can see, I do have the hand cam in the top left of your screen. Now, this is really not too hard, you feel me? Now, in order to do this move, you want to hold RT. As you can see, now the ball is in your right hand. You want to flick the, the right stick to the left and flick the left stick diagonally up. As you can see, look, bam, look, just like that. This move not too hard, you feel me? Once you go in here and practice in the Gatorade facility or whatever you choose to do this on, look, it's not too hard, you feel me? This move should really be simple. Everybody uses the momentum crossover in this game, you feel me? So if you want to add that to your bag, you feel me? Look, I recommend doing it, you feel me? This move not too hard. Just go in there and practice it, you feel me? Now, the next move I will be teaching y'all is the snatch bag. Now, in order to do the snatch back, you want to hold RT, flick the right stick down, and then flick the left stick up or the other way around. It really depends. You see, I'm doing it. Yeah, flick the right stick up and then flick the left stick down. You have to do it in a certain movement, too, like this. You should be hearing this. It's just like that. That's 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 what you should hear on your controller. You should hear that sound. Bam, bam, bam. That is all you should hear on your controller. If you don't hear that, just, you know, go in there a little bit. Look, bam, bam. It's not really that hard. Look, bam. You can really spam this move, too. You really can't spam some of the other moves. Like, you can't spam the momentum crossover in this game because the most you can do from what I've seen is three, two to three momentum crossovers in a row without 2K interfering or changing. Now, look, you can add the momentum snatch back, too. That's a little combo, you feel me? Once you get the master in it, once you know all the moves, once you master, you can combo. Look, bam, bam. This move is not that hard. You just go in the Gatorade. Like I said, you know, practice moves, it shouldn't take you too long. That's why I said this for a beginner tutorial. It shouldn't take you too long to master that move. Now, the next move I should teach y'all is the Asta Slide. This is normal one or the Lucas Step Back. It's really not that hard to do. All you got to do is run and flick your right stick down. That's literally it. You running and flicking your right stick down. That's all you doing. That's literally it. Like, that move ain't that hard. All you got to do is flick the stick down. Now, the next move I will be showing y'all is the hesitation size of. Now, for this, I have one KD. So, let's say the ball is in your right hand. You feel me? What you want to do is flick diagonally left up like you're playing tic-tac-toe. This move not that hard. You can spam it. You can do whatever. I'm telling you, this move not really that bad. This move is very effective when you want to, you know, work out on a 1v1, do what you're trying to do in the ISO situation, size your opponent up, see what they do, see if they bite on the move, you feel me? And I'm going to teach y'all how to read defenders maybe later on in another video, you feel me? But this size up is very effective, so use it to your advantage if you are a beginner on this game. You can use this size up with almost any player in NBA 2K. If you play play now, my team, whatever, you feel me? All these moves are very useful. All you got to do is just practice them and know when to use them and how to use them in what situation. Like I'm telling y'all, these moves are very effective. As you can see, I'm comboing up with these same moves I've been showing y'all in the video. Now, the next move I'll be showing y'all is the walk back. Now, in order to do the walk back, it depends on what ball the hand is in. You feel me? So, if the ball is in your right hand, you're going to want to run to the right. And then, you're going to want to pull your left stick diagonally down to the right. As you can see on the screen, you either pull it to the right or the left, depending on what side of the floor you're on, what sand wall, what, or what hand the ball is in. This move really not that hard either. You feel me? Now, the last move I'll be showing y'all is the glitchy speed boost. 
All you're doing for this move is running, letting go of everything on your controller, and then you just running again. But yeah, man, that's really it for this video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you are new to the channel, it's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, and I'm out.